Here, what's going on everybody, Sidepod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. Are y'all ready to talk about that sour subject, that sour topic, something that we never want to talk about with NBA 2K12, 2K13, we don't know what it's going to be, we don't know what's going to get better. Well, I'm here to talk to you about it. I'm here to talk about passing. Yes, the dreadful word, passing. Do anybody remember when you first got 2K12 and you thought, oh, this game is all that? Until you try to make that one pass in a paint, or you try to throw that amazing alley-oop, and it just didn't go down? Well, here we go. Visual Concepts has revamped passing. They say that the AI will make smarter passes when you choose to pass the ball. They say this year, if you take the ball down the middle on a fast break and you see a guy filling the lane, you will hit him with a nice bounce pass instead of an overhead pass, which is, of course, easier for a defender to pick off if you throw it over his head. All he got to do is put his arm up, jump in the air, and he got it. But if you want to guarantee that you can get this playoff on a fast break successfully, they say that they're going to make your player throw a bounce pass instead. Now, if you want to guarantee your player throws a bounce pass, you can hold the left trigger and press the pass button. Did you hear what I said, y'all? They brung back the bounce pass. Back in the day when 2K was in their early years, well, not early years, but, you know, a few years back, they did have the modifier where you could throw a bounce pass, and they brung that back this year. Woo! Man, so much relief off my head. What about y'all? Um, I'm done sweating. Anybody else sweating? All right, let me get more into it. Previous NBA 2K games basically married the passing and catching systems, which meant the moment you made the pass, the catch was determined as well. So as soon as it left your fingers, that person was supposed to either be in the right spot or be sliding to wherever it needs to go. Or the pass might have went and you may have been playing the passing lanes, but you were not a factor. That means that you wouldn't be able to cause a turnover even if you were playing the passing lanes. So... With that being said, in NBA 2K13, they have separated these systems. It says the game makes the appropriate pass at the time you press the button, and the intended receiver makes the appropriate catch based on when the ball is arriving. This, this should inject more variety in the pass catching animations and hopefully make some balls more, you know, susceptible to interception, which means. You know how like you slap the ball down if you're playing the passing lanes on my player. They're saying that the computer will be able to do that against the computer as well. And the whole entire AI setup will be a whole lot smarter. So even if that bounce pass is coming, hopefully that player can jump out there even if they're playing the passing lanes or even sagging off. Hopefully we don't see no crazy shooting animations because, you know, I, of course, you know, we all saw the shooting animations that happened in 2K12. You might go for a steal and you do end up at half court while they shooting a three and you know it's cash. But <laughs> one last thing that I do want to talk about with passing, they have changed the alley-oop buttons. Wow, I, w I would have never thought that they would change it, but think about it. If L2 plus X equals bounce pass, when you think L2 in circle means alley-oop? But instead, what they've done is you have to press the A and X button. Or, what is it, square and X button for PS3. That's how you throw alley-oop this year, y'all. It's crazy, I know, but that's what we got to live with. But this is IKC signing out. If you want to get more news about NBA 2K13, you know where to get it first. Alright y'all, peace.